It's a lovely winter's day here at Stowe Hill, and here's a lovely boat. It's a 2014 55 foot undercloth conversion tug built by Andy Craft, very well regarded, and the owner has fitted her out very nicely, I must say. The gas bottles, two 3.9 kilos, are in the forward locker, and the well deck here, the tug deck rather, which is seven feet long, offers some lovely outdoor space. For the summer and the canvas very easily comes down and comes over to give you protection for the elements if you wish. <clears throat> the canvas in very good condition, the paintwork is fabulous. She's a very different boat, she's unique, I suppose most boats are unique but she's more unique than others I would say. A bit like all pigs are equal but some are more equal than others in the words of the famous author. She'd been so well looked after in her four years. She was blacked in April 2017, serviced in April 2017. The owner has offered to carry out a fresh service when she sells. Everything's in lovely condition. Inside, she's, she feels new. So we're going through the stern, <clears throat> down into the boatman's cabin. Beautifully done. Keeps a feel of the tradition on a, a look of the modern, I suppose. White tongue and groove to the walls. There's no stove in the port side corner here at the back, but there was a knuckle on the roof outside and one could be very easily installed. Here we have the traditional boatman's bed arrangement with good size cupboard over. This drops down and makes into your bed. There's hanging space in there, you can see the coat hangers. There's a photograph on the website of the bed out and mattress made up and covers underneath. This is quite a clever combination of the old drop down table, but the whole lot opens up into a good sized cupboard. This could become a hanging wardrobe as well. And if you want the, the table down, you just shut the door and undo it and there you are. Good size room. We've measured the boatman's cabin at eight feet long. A hot water boiler is stored under the fire extinguisher there, and there's a few cupboards and shelves on the left of the screen here. Traditional controls, the speed wheel and push-pull gear change. And there we go. Lovely room, really cosy. On into the engine room. Six feet long, and this houses the, the beautiful Ruston Hornsby. She starts at the push of a button, and I know that because I've done it a few times. Immaculate condition, gleaming. Everything nice and clean. And over here is the very neatly arranged electrical systems. Inverter control. The inverter on board is a 1.8 kilowatt pro power. Here's the diesel day tank. Lovely old fashioned lights on the wall. All the lighting throughout the boat is LED. Two side hatches in here, one with steps, very easy. Exit and entrance via the starboard side side hatch. And then we go into the bathroom. Very stylish, a ceramic circular countertop basin, there's a towel rail. And the loo is, is behind the door. I like this arrangement because as you're walking through the boat, it's not the first thing that you see when you go through the bathroom, but it's there. That's a Thetford cassette. Two cassettes on board, and there's a quadrant shower. The heating on board, I should comment, is, is Wabasto. It's all installed. The boiler's in there, the plumbing's in there. It just needs electrically connecting. The owner just hasn't got around to doing it. So all the bits are there, but that will need doing. On into the galley, nearly seven feet long. All lovely, these uh, drawers and cupboards are all soft clothes. Lots of storage in here. This oven's a Thetford, separate oven and a separate grill arrangement. And there's a two burner gas hob, that's premier range. 
and opposite is the stainless steel stink with really big cupboards underneath. And there's the fridge. That's a 230 volt Atlant. A couple of nice portholes in the kitchen they open. Let's just turn around and have another look. So lovely in here, you get the feeling that the boat's completely different to most. So here we have the dining arrangement, an L-shaped dining area opposite the radiator with a shelf over. And there's a stove in here, that's a Boatman multi-fuel stove. And the saloon is so cosy, those armchairs are gloriously comfortable. A couple of good sized windows in here, they have blinds that come down. And that table there just drops down when you extend the bed. The bed's under here, under the foredeck. It's very easily pulled out. It's on rollers. You just move the steps there, move the furniture. It rolls out beautifully. Again, I've taken a photograph, which is on the website in the gallery, of that bed out. And there's a fly screen for the summer or winter, whenever the flies choose to come out. There's a view back down to the saloon. Lovely boat, lovely feel. I'm not going to try and negotiate the forward exit with the camera in hand, so I'll have a walk back through the boat, and why not? Nothing to hide, everything to show. I should also mention there's lots of mood lighting on this boat, under the gunnels in the saloon, there's lights on the forward tug deck, and in the shelves to the left and right of the forward door. Back to the engine room. Beautiful room. I think I mentioned all the lighting on board is LED. And out we go, rather reluctantly. Let's have a quick look at the uh, helmsman's position. And there we go. Redanti, there are further photographs and a full downloadable colour brochure on our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk